Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ready? Uh... Hey everyone, we're here at the Caribbean Developers Conference here in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. And you know, I wanted to check in with some of our friends here at the local Microsoft office to learn about some of the projects that they're working on. So why don't you tell me like who you are and what exactly is it that you do here? Thank you, Cecile. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Mabel Geronimo. Mm -hmm. I'm the CSA Cloud Solution Architect for the local office here in Microsoft Dominican Republic. Yeah. Um, and something that I've been working on because most of my customers recently have been reaching out to get understanding and get inside of projects about bot framework yeah. is having the connection of that bot framework with Power BI, which is also okay. a familiar tool for most of those customers. Gotcha, gotcha. So tell me, what is it like? Why is it that you said that you wanted to use bot framework, and what what are you doing with it exactly? Yeah. So more and more customers are currently realizing the value of having an automated service agent, mm -hmm. uh, and bot framework came as the perfect solution for them. You know, to automate okay. the process of resolving the doubts and questions that their customer may have. Mm -hmm. So when we show them the bot framework that is uh, using .NET, which is also a common language for for most of the customers. Yeah. Uh, it was like the right tool for them to get started ahead very quickly, very easy, using tools that, such as Q&A Maker that also makes the right, coding right, right. very low. Uh, and also, you know, like having the, the integration with all of the rest of the tools uh, in the Microsoft tooling, such as Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Power BI. Okay, yeah, that sounds really cool. Why don't you show us really quickly like some of the things that you've been working on? Yeah, yeah. So the idea for this uh, report that you see right here is that it's okay. connected uh, to the bot framer analytics that is um, currently being sent to the application inside service in Azure. Okay. So all of that orchestration is done with logic apps. So oh, it's nice. a visual interface when you can like define the recurrency that you want this to happen, how often you do you want this to happen, mm -hmm. where does this data come from, and what type of data do you want to, to receive, uh, send that, maybe put it into to some cognitive services, you know, to analyze sentiments right, 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 and key phrases, and then send that to a blob storage, and then we'll feed into the Power BI report that you see right here. So we get the location, yeah, we get yeah, the yeah. sentiments, we get the confidence that the bot is showing when it's responding the answers, we okay. get the uh, keywords that, that uh, the, the customers are looking for. So we get all the data that a business people would need to, to provide a decision. Sure. What I love about this solution is that it's just using so many different products and like putting them together, like putting the puzzle pieces in the right place correct. to like make the right solution. Yeah, right? yeah, correctly. And the way to put those pieces together is even easier because yeah. it's all visual interface. Right, right. So we have logic apps in here. Mm -hmm. We have application insights in here. We have I saw you have services. some cognitive services. I saw you're doing sentiment analysis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of AI, machine learning, That's goodness inside of here. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the bots? So how do I, so if I'm in a business, like how do we interact with the bot? Like what kind of information do I give it? Like what does it do for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for this bot right here that we had, we, we used a Q&A maker framework. Okay. So it's just a matter of going into this building uh, already site that the Microsoft has. Sure. Entering the question and entering the answers that you may want yeah, to handle first. And then you can like plug in that chatbot that you create into your web page mm -hmm. or even a social media platform such as Facebook or, yeah. or something like that. You know, so, so your customers can have different channels to interact with the services uh, that you're providing as a, as a company. Right, and so with the Q&A maker, mm -hmm. I come to a website and I train it with these different you, you do. questions and answers, like these responses. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And so over time, it becomes better and better because the more questions that we give it, mm -hmm. the better it becomes at answering those questions. Right? Perfectly. And the thing, the cool thing about this is that you also get the source code behind the project. Oh, so really? if you want to go deeper, more advanced, and include yeah. other things that not necessarily are like what Q&A maker provides you, then yeah. you can do so as well. That's awesome. So that means that, okay, so I have a bot, my business is using this bot, right? And then this information goes into Q&A Maker, it answers questions, whatever the case is. So now, what's the thing that triggers the logic app? 
to start running? Yeah, so in this logic cap, I have a recurrence uh, time of like a trigger. Okay. Uh, so I set it up to every five minutes in my case, sure, but sure, I sure. can put that every every hour or daily, you know, depending on how much sensitive, how much time sensitive is the data that I'm collecting. Right, 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 right. Okay. So tell me like, because again, we can talk about technology all we mm -hmm. want, right? But I think what's important here is talking about like how this technology is really helping empower the local people here in the Dominican Republic to just do work more efficiently. So how is this particular solution and this combination of tools being able to do that? I think that the way that these tools are combined and easier to, to, to being applied, you know, mm -hmm. That's just a win for people. So, so it doesn't require very exclusive um, technical skills that yeah. only the technical people may have, yeah. but everybody can do it basically. So, right. so that's a win there. And also having this information, because sometimes you automate the process of delivering the service to your customers, mm -hmm. but you don't want to lose insight of that. So yeah. having this information that allow you to get the insight, not only from the customer perspective, but also from the chatbot perspective. So you can also know what to do better, what to improve in terms of showing things, new things to learn to the chatbot. So right. having those two things together, it's a major win for the customer. Sure. And if it's already like so easy to plug in, mm -hmm. then it's even better. So for people that are here in the Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. do you see a lot of ask for chatbots and these types of tools to like help with business automation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, um, the amount of customers that are getting interested in, in this kind of projects mm -hmm. have raised increasingly, uh, right. exponentially, yeah. Right. So, so there's even more customers that are coming in the line, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, starting to see other customers, maybe in the same industry, they yeah. have taken the step ahead and they're starting to say, I want that, right. I need that, because it's an uh, optimization of my operations. Right, right, mm -hmm. right, right. And so after we've gotten this information from the chatbot, it goes through our Logic Apps mm -hmm. um, pipeline. And then I want to talk a little bit about the sentiment analysis that you're using. Yeah. So it's, it's, I'm guessing it's checking, like, is this a positive statement? Is this a negative statement? That's correct. And so now, you know, using that API, using cognitive services, we have that information that we can start making decisions about how efficient the chatbot is made. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or like, is it answering the right question or is it giving me an answer that um, makes me feel satisfied, right? Are those the types of things that you're doing with it? Yeah, yeah, correct. And not only to know that if my customer is happy about my chatbot, but also if my customer is happy about my own services, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the more I get this kind of information that in the past wasn't just as easy to get from, mm -hmm. you know, to get uh, available, the more that I can understand my customer and their needs. Got it, got it, got it. And that insight is so much important, right? Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. now, you know, that are we delivering the right tools and services? Are and, we, mm -hmm. and are we actually helping or mm -hmm. just being a complication to, you know, whatever it is that the business process happens? To yeah, yeah, yeah. And making those questions is part of the value as well of all of these solutions. Cool. This is awesome, man. Is there anything else that you'd love to tell us about this? Anything cool I think and interesting? That, that, that you got it all. I think that this is just a sample view of what you can get. You right. can get more complicated than this. Mm -hmm. You can get more advanced. You know, you, at the end of the day, you are as the, you know, the lead of the project. Yeah. You are the one that decides what comes into the report. But having already everything being connected, mm -hmm. that's a plus that you don't even have to worry about. Awesome, man. Like, I got to come back down here again another time and spend some more time with you guys in the office to see what you all are working on. Welcome. Sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for being on. And thank you all for checking out this other episode while we're here in the Dominican Republic at the Caribbean Developers Conference. Thank you.